Today we're going to talk about the Blue Ghost Mission 1 from Firefly that landed on March 2nd uh, as a probe and a lander on the moon. We're going to talk about what has happened in the last week. You'll see it's quite exciting. First of all, the Blue Ghost landed on the moon on March 2nd at 2.34 a.m. It was a successful touchdown and it marked the first time that the private company landed a lander on the moon. Now let's see if we can look at a few pictures. I'll show you the first picture that's quite exciting. So I'm going to bring this smaller a little bit. So here is the, the first, so let's see if I can put it this way. There we go. The first picture from the lander after it landed on the ground. Now I'm going to show you that a couple of days ago, a video came from Firefly and you're going to see we have amazing pictures so from firefly we can see this some uh, we can see when we have the, the lander going above the moon it's redirected itself so it could land properly with the legs on the surface let's see if i can move a little bit we can see here look at the the earth from the surface it's an amazing view let's see what else we could see see we can have the final descent here and you could see how getting close to the ground, you can see it's an even part. Soon as the, uh, we'll have the engine that will be starting so we can have a smooth landing. But look at the, the soil, the ground, the regolith on the moon. It's just amazing. So here it went down a little bit. So here it got closer. Soon we're going to see how the wind goes. One of the experiments was actually to see how much dust has been pushed away and could affect the equipment on the lander. That is basically one of the experiments, not just for this company, but for all future landers going on the moon. So it's quite exciting. So here we're getting closer. Look at this soon. Landing, how it's beautiful. You can see here, this is the beginning of the moon cycle. So the sun is behind us. And look at this. The, so we have here the reflection on the side. Let's see. So you see the, in, the, the engine will just start. You could see here the dust. Look at the, at the uh, right here, we have the shape of the shadow. And there we go. It landed properly. Perfect. Now, the reason why we have such a great shadow is that this is the beginning of the, the full moon. So this is the first crescent of the moon. Now we are on March 8th. So today is basically the noon time of the moon, basically a full moon. So here they were trying to use the whole cycle. So that as much as possible, the 24, 25 days of sunlight so they can do their experiment so this is just amazing and people were very happy at firefly and i'm very proud of them as well so let's see what else came through in uh, in the news from firefly so here let's see so that's an, an excellent photo here basic uh, let's see just as i mentioned here the shadow is just amazing so these photos are from the firefly space company on their website and i'm going to put in the description the or in the comment the um, the links so you can go and see the information yourself it's quite amazing okay. so here we have on march 6th so today is march 8th so so two days ago just over four days since they landed the, the blue ghost on the moon they had eight out of the 10 nasa payloads that had already get some information so that it has reached their objectives. So at least start gather some data. The key part here is that how long can we gather data to make sure that we can maximize here the payload here. So here we have a variety. So that was 10, uh, 8 out of 10. And I'm going to share with you, uh, it was yesterday or today, they launched their uh, one of the latest experiment about magnetism. So and I talked about the payload and the information they have, and I'll share with you a little bit in a moment. So that was yesterday, the Lunar Magneto Telerik Sounder. So they did send that. So I'm going to show you. It's quite a, quite exciting, actually. So if you see, 
it's just a few seconds. So here, from here, you're gonna see there's a little wire right here. So basically, it was a catapult. They catapulted right here a cable and a sensor. So if you're looking at magnetism and how the uh, magnetic field or um, radiation coming from the, the sun, it's important to be able to find, to have as large as possible the, um, the surface area. I feel like I have difficulties to speak, but that's okay. So here, if I look at the key one here, it says here that the lunar magneto Tellerite sounder is designed to study the electrical conductivity profile of the interior of the moon. The primary objective is to constrain the temperature structure and thermal evolution of the moon. It will also help distinguish uh, here some terrain from the lunar background and look for signatures of residual water in source region of pyroclastic volcanism. The instrument comprises a central electronic box, a flux gate magnetometer, and four deployable electrodes of sp with spring launchers. And that's what was launched today. So they launched four, basically making a cross to cover as much ground as possible. It will measure the ratio of the, electrical, the electric field spectrum to the magnetic field spectrum at the lunar surface to determine the frequency dependent ground impedance and depth dependent conductivity there you go so here it's deployed on a 2.5 meter vertical mast the four electrodes are launched by spring mechanism to distance of about 20 meters from uh, the, the lander giving 40 meter baseline they are connected by wires to a central electronic box so that'll be interesting so that was launched if, so there is the experiment with uh, most likely the four launchers right here and the box so this is part of uh, the experiment that started yesterday. That's exciting. Let's see what we've got. So here we are on March 8th. So that's today. So day seven and the moon is heating up as we approach the lunar moon, uh, the lunar noon. The hottest part of the uh, lunar day can be up to 124, 21 degrees Celsius. Now we are on day eight. So that means that it's only been seven days out of the of the moon cycle. So that's mean we're just on the first quarter crescent. So it's still very new. We're not on the full moon yet. But uh, now that I read this information, Blue Ghost has begun planned power cycling to keep the lander as cool as possible. With eight payloads objective already completed, we aim to continue operating our two remaining payloads throughout this power cycle. Will gradually get back to full power once the surface temperature starts to cool down again and stay tuned for more. Now you have to keep in mind that we need to maximize the time of uh, that we have light from the sun because as soon as uh, the night comes in, temperatures will plummet. And that means that uh, there'll be, because it's very cold, a lot of the payload will not be able to, to run. Second, because it's so cold, the battery will have difficulties to hold its charge. And that's why once we get the cycle of the, the new moon, what we don't know, we don't know if we'll be able to, to get results or if the lander will start over again once uh, light comes in again. So that's, uh, that's tricky and that's something we have to look into. So there we go. So this is uh, the Blue Ghost mission, which is quite exciting. So here we're almost done most of the, the work right here. So let's see if I can show you this one right here. There you go. So we had the launch. We also had the in-orbit commissioning. So that was eight hours. Earth orbit. We had the lunar transit and the lunar orbit. So that's last like a month and a half or so. Then the descent for one hour. And then we're on the surface for 14 days. Oh, so I was wrong when I said 28 days. It's actually 14 days because I have to keep in mind that uh, there is, uh, we go from the new, uh, the new moon coming in and then we have the quarter cycle, we have the full moon, and then we have decreasing uh, the, de the descent or the dec decrease of the moon basis. Interesting. So here we have the surface payload science happening, and then we have the lunar night operations until the battery runs out because it needs, they need power of the battery to heat up the lander, but there is a limited quantity of energy 
in those. So it's quite exciting. So that's part of what is what Firefly is working on. I'm quite excited about this project and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. On this, if you have any questions, clarification questions or notice, as I mentioned, there's a few things here and there that I had to clarify as I went along. Put your questions in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to respond. And we're gonna keep track on the new signs that we get from this Blue Ghost Mission, mission Blue Ghost Mission 1 from Firefly Aerospace. On this, I'm gonna put here a link to another video and I'll see you there.